Hello, I'm Frank. I'm not a professional. This is a consumer review of my TV console. Link to the exact product I'm talking about in the description box below. I've had this console for about four months now and haven't had any issues with it. The assembly process was pretty much in line with all of the other IKEA style furniture assembly nowadays with this composite uh, cork board or whatever. Not 100% sure on what material this is, but it's not like pure wood or, you know, awesome luxury, but it's also not ridiculously cheap, flimsy, like trash. <laughs> I'm happy with the quality, but I'm not standing or sitting on it and kicking it, really stressing the component by any means. Assembly wasn't that difficult. I think it took me about 45 minutes to do it alone. Um, I wasn't really rushing or anything like that, but pretty manageable. Now some of the things that the photos don't really reflect. On each side, there are two little cubbies right here. When you push them, they spring open a little bit. Feels pretty premium compared to a lot of other budget furniture that looks similar to this. It is a pretty basic drawer inside. I have a few Blu-rays in here. It's not really optimized for Blu-rays though. Shutting the little cubby also feels kind of nice because you can kind of push it in and there's a magnet there that kind of uh, lets it softly close. And then to open, you just push and it springs out just a little bit. It's a very simple little device here, but I'm really happy with it because it feels much cooler than just a standard pull-out drawer. Again, I've had this for about four months. Um, I wouldn't say I've sat here and stress tested it for those four months, but I haven't had this um, part break down or annoy me in any way. And moving to this glass shield thing. This is glass, so I can't actually like reach in there right now, but then you can slide this whole little tray out of the way if you need to get to your devices, change a disc or do whatever. If you can see this metal track on the bottom of the uh, product, that's where this glass thing will slide on. It moves back and forth pretty smoothly, but there's nothing to stop it. Like to, if you're OCD about centering it perfectly, there's nothing really to keep it here. So you can just freely move it back and forth. One of the elements in a lot of the negative reviews of this product is regarding the width of this little area. The width of each cubby is 16 inches, and that's a separate cubby here and here because of this little divider right here. So measure your DVD player and any of the products you wanna put inside here because if it's larger than 16 inches, you're gonna have a bad time. And inside in the back, uh, I do really like these rubber gaskets that they have back there for wire management. So when you're sitting watching television, it looks a lot neater and cleaner because you don't have wires hanging about. And with any white furniture like this, usually the cords are black, so the white will just kind of make the cords pop out and look really tacky. Um, I really like the appearance that that gasket provides. But if you're a hardcore gamer, keep in mind the gaskets seal off the back so there's no ventilation in the rear. And if you keep your glass thing shut, you're keeping all of your, your devices enclosed so there's no airflow in there. But if you're like a hardcore gamer and you have your Xbox on for hours at a time, you might have overheating issues. I haven't had an issue, but it's worth noting just in case. Overall pros of the system, I really like the overall appearance. Of course, I knew that before I purchased it because I could see the photos. I really like the sliding glass door. The cubby's opening with the little spring assist and having a magnetic closure makes it feel really nice. That's definitely a pro for me. No major cons that would prevent me from recommending somebody purchase this. Minor gripes though, the legs look pretty cheap compared to the glass finish. Both have a similar silver finish, but they're not really identical. So I think it just doesn't look quite as nice as it could look. And the ventilation issue, which I already mentioned, no problems have arisen for me personally, but that could be a potential con for some. But that's really it. Overall, I'm really happy with this product. So that's my consumer review of this TV console. I'll have a link in the description box below to exactly which one I purchased in case you wanted the identical model. I hope my video was helpful. Thanks for watching.